The FOD Fiat High Altitude Area Defense Missile System is intended to intercept short and medium range ballistic missiles, such as the Scud. It also has limited capability against intercontinental ballistic missiles. The concept of the THOD was proposed back in 1987. A formal request for proposals was submitted in 1990. In 1992, the U.S. Army selected Lockheed Martin for THOD development. First flight test was made in 1995. First successful intercepts were conducted in 1999. In 2006, a contract was signed for delivery of 48 new anti-missile systems to the U.S. Army. The FOD entered service in 2009. United Arab Emirates ordered a number of these missile systems. In 2017, the U.S. DOT approved a sale of 44 THOD launchers and 360 interceptor missiles to Saudi Arabia. In 2022, a Saudi Arabian THOD missile defense system made its first kill and destroyed a ballistic missile during Houthi attack. The new anti-missile defense system was intended to supplement the Patriot, which entered service in 1982. It is worth mentioning that in 1991, the Patriot air defense system was used in the Persian Gulf against the Iraqi Scud ballistic missiles. Though the capabilities of Pac-2 weren't enough for interception of more advanced ballistic missiles, in 1990, the U.S. Army placed a formal request for proposals for anti-missile defense system. In 1992, the Lockheed Martin was selected for the THAAD development. During development, two types of missiles were proposed for the FOD. The first was the Raytheon MIM-109 with explosive warhead, advanced model of MIM-104, used on the Patriot. The second was errant-type missile represented by Laurel Vought Systems. As a result, the second missile has been selected, which carries no warhead but relies on kinetic energy impact during direct collision. It was considered that direct impact was more reliable, as during the collision of two missiles, there are more chances to change the direction of heavy ballistic missile and disrupt its stability. FOD is a part of a three-layer missile defense network. The first line of defense comes from Aegis missiles, designed to knock out ballistic missiles in space. If that fails, FOD intercepts the missile just as it re-enters the atmosphere. The final layer of defense is the short-range Patriot Pac-3 missile. Testing of the new missile began in 1994. The first successful missile intercept was conducted in 1999. The same year Thaw destroyed Target, imitating the Scud ballistic missile. The Thaw missile has an estimated range of 150 minus 200 km. It can reach an altitude of 25 km. During the first seconds after being launched, the missile spectacularly rotates spirally and then goes to meet the enemy. Several journalists said that the reason for this rotation is that the missile is seeking for its target, but it is a huge error. By rotating spirally, the missile gains kinetic energy, which is absolutely necessary to hit and destroy the target. The THOD launcher is based on the Oshkosh M1120 LHS heavy high-mobility truck. Each vehicle carries eight missiles. The M1120 truck is designed for off-road applications. Vehicle is powered by a Detroit Diesel 8 V92 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 450 HP. It has a full-time all-wheel drive and a central tire pressure system. The THOD unit includes a radar, mobile fire control center, and four launcher vehicles. Judging from the Saudi Arabian $15 billion contract for 44 THOD launcher vehicles with 360 missiles, as well as 16 mobile fire control units and 7N-TPY2 radars, the price of a single THOD launcher loaded with eight interceptor missiles could be around $250-$300 million. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel.